Welcome! So a lot of things are going to be changing around here. Going to be trying to build more of a community than anything. So I have this process video for you, but please understand that I'm going to have several videos, two videos out every month for you. And I'm going to be trying to teach you stuff every video all the time throughout the content. So stick around, see what I will teach. Going to be glazing some porcelain pipes some stoneware pipes using the natural gas kiln and this is just a big batch for some inventory uh, a shop that ordered a nice big order and you can always check out the shops that I sell to on my website in the store locator yeah. and let me just jump right into it This is wax resist, and that's what I'm putting on these pieces. I just get a little bit of this. It's a petroleum product, and so essentially I put this on my, my ceramics, my clay, and then it absorbs this, dries out, and then what it does is it prevents any glaze from sticking to the pottery. glazing you'll be seeing me use this this is a bulb syringe and essentially it just makes it easy so that I can pour squirt my glaze into the inside of the pipe because it's really important that the inside of the pipe also has glaze so that when you're cleaning it it's easy to clean and it won't absorb any of that smell or any of your cleaning solution <laughs> Kick it old school.
My electric kiln here is what I'm gonna be using and it is great for automatic firing without having to worry about it. Just load it, fire it, boom. It's done when it's done on its own. Many people don't know about ceramics, especially ceramic pipes. I don't know why, you know, it's weird because you drink out of a mug, you have ceramic bowls, plates, I mean all this ceramic stuff in your life, when you think about it, even your phones. Besides rambling on, I'm just trying to get at, what I'm trying to do here is pioneer a new market for ceramic pipes. Think a glass, just think for a minute, see what it's done. Now imagine 10 years, what they've done, this is what's gonna happen. Ceramics, it's gonna be all over. You know, help me now. Come support me, Patreon, click the link, Patreon in the description. I've had it up for a year, but I'm ready now. So, I'm calling you out. For those of you who can support me on this content, I'm gonna be continuing to provide based around education for many artists and honestly building awareness just educating everybody about ceramic pipes and, and what's going on because the content doesn't exist but here it comes but let's get on with this video So this is some of the material you've seen me using. You can kind of see the glaze that's already mixed, but this is the raw glaze. So essentially what this is, is it's made up of three primary things. A glass former, so essentially glaze is glass, and um, just like glass is ceramic, uh, we come back to this when glass is being made, it's in its raw form, like this. So we have the glass former, and then we have something to melt and drop the temperature of that melting point for the glass because glass has a really high melting point. So we gotta drop it so it'll actually melt. And then when it's being applied to pottery, we want it to stay on the pottery. So we introduce one more material so that it stays strong and adheres into the pores of the pipes. Once it's adhered into the pipe, it gets fired on and then it fuses within the pores of the clay creating a fused bond between the clay and the glass glaze.
my grinder here because I want to dole down these sharp points that are left from the stands that they were, the pipes were sitting on in the kiln. And the wet grinder it really just helps me do that, you know, and it doesn't create a lot of dust in the air. <laughs> you're liking it so I'd appreciate a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you can always find me at ceramicsmokeware.com where you can buy these pipes you're looking at me making pretty cool stuff anyway